Oh shit, we got a ship out here. South in the ocean. I found Wilson right here. Man. Or is that is that our ship? Call Tom Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> that is, that is Wilson's. I thought it would stay like parked on the island or on the uh, island. <laughs> <laughs> so in its simplest form, Blazing Sails is of course a battle royale mixed with, I would say, Sea of Thieves is obviously the first thing that comes to mind. In this video, I'm gonna give you like 10 tips and hints, tricks, whatever you wanna call them, that will help you pick up the game a lot quicker than I did. Because since it's still in early access, when I first started, it was a really big learning curve for me to try to figure out how everything works. All right, so tip one, I wanna be transparent with everybody, is the servers. Since this is still really in early access, there's not a lot of people playing the game, and because of this, it's really hard to find games. And much like Sector's Edge that I uh, covered on this channel, it can be difficult to find games and also difficult to find people who speak your own language. All right, number two, which is the most important thing, is the ships. So with the new recent update or patch to Blazing Sails, there are now two ships in the game. The first being the Brigantine, it's a larger size ship. It has two cannons on each side, but it sacrifices speed for having an additional cannon. Now, when you compare that to the junk ship, you will see that it only has three cannons. And although it only has three cannons, it does have a forward-facing cannon, which is absolutely critical. And with you only having three cannons, you guessed it, you're able to sail at a quicker speed, which makes gaining on the enemy, cutting them off, getting away from people, a lot easier and it is very critical, but you're gonna sacrifice a cannon for gaining that speed. Now, since we're talking about the ship, let's talk about the areas within inside the ship. So obviously you have your cannons, the capstan, which raises the anchor. You have the wheel that the captain, yours truly, steers. Then you have areas around the ship that you can actually apply upgrades for little tiny cannons called swivel cannons. And lastly, underneath the ship is where you store all of the materials that you gain on the islands around the map. Now this includes, but is not limited to different types of cannons, wood to repair your ship, healing upgrades, along with the pump used to drain water from your ship. We'll talk about that later. And the most important part, your ship's cork. Now the cork does exactly what you think it does. If it is pulled by the opposing team or you pull an opposing team's cork, then yep, they start to take on water, panic, and you potentially sink the ship. So it's very important to know where that's at just in case a little sneaky bugger gets on your ship, pulls your cork. Let's talk about tip number three, which are those important treasure chests, or as pirates call them, booty. Now, when you check your map, you'll see on the map, you'll see locations marked with the treasure chest. And if you go to those locations, you will find a treasure chest, either opened or unopened, depending on if someone else has already gotten there. But be careful, if you do open the chest, fireworks will shoot off into the sky, letting everybody know that you just opened the chest, but also giving away your position of you, your crew, and potentially where the boat is. But definitely go after treasure chest because that is where all the best loot is in the game. And we'll talk about those guns here in a second. All right, halfway there, tip number five is your loot your carrying capacity, and what happens when you die. So as we already talked about, loot is pretty much found on all the islands, from wood, cannonball upgrades, ship upgrades, treasure chests, and portals to either back to your ship or to other islands. Now don't worry, this is what's different in Blazing Sails than other battle royales. When you die, you will respawn back on your ship with your guns that you had previously. But all the other loot that you had with you, wood, cannonballs, will all be left where you died at. So if that happens to be on another team's ship, then they're more than likely gonna take all of it. Or if it's out in open water, that means you need to go back out there and get it if you have some important things on your body. Speaking of dying, if you do die in the game, as long as your ship has not been sank, you will respawn every time. So it's very important to keep that ship afloat. Now for the best part, which is the guns. What guns are best to use in blazing cells. So my top three guns to use, if you can find these, and these are almost always found in treasure chests, this is the shoulder cannon, the bomb launcher, and the heavy sniper. I will say without a doubt that the heavy sniper, or any sniper, because there's also a fast sniper in the game as well, is king. Snipers are so important on this game because you can shoot from one ship to another. You can take out someone in the crow's nest, the driver, etc. And since the name of the game is to damage the ship, if you can take their attention away from that, to heal, to worry about you, then you're on the right track. As far as the bomb launcher 
and the shoulder cannon. What makes them so special is their area of effect, their bombs, their, they shoot cannonballs that blow up. And because they do this, you can damage multiple enemies. And with the shoulder cannon, you can actually shoot at the ship just like a cannon on your gun and do damage. So this makes for some interesting situations. If you can get yourself off the ship and shoot towards the enemy while your ship and team are fighting them, you can hit them at a different angle where they won't even know what's happening and really, really tack in on some damage. There are also quad barrel guns on the game. You've got quad barrel pistols that sh can shoot four shots before reloading, and you can have double pistols that way. You can also have a quad barrel rifle that shoots for a shot, or you can right click and shoot all four pellets at one time. The only guns that I really don't like is the blunderbuss, which is like their form of the shotgun, the common pistol, the flintlock, and the crossbow. Other than that, if you get any of the other weapons, I think you'll be all set, but really be on the lookout for a sniper. All right, I've already lost what number we're on at this point. I think this is tip six. Tip six is you can die as many times as you want, as long as your ship does not sink. Now, this is important because it allows you to play a little bit aggressive. As long as you've got good teamwork, and we're getting ready to talk about that here in a second, and you're not carrying important items, remember that last tip, you really can be aggressive and try to sneak on other ships, pull their cork, kill them, just cause like utter chaos. And because there's a respawn time, if you can take out two or three of the players on the ship, then by the time the other teammates respawn, so much water will be taken on that ship that they won't be able to recover and you can just keep doing them damage and wipe that team out. So aggressive play can be rewarded as long as you've got good teamwork. So this brings me right back to tip number seven or right to tip number seven, which is teamwork. Because everything is simple, but again, so complex, teamwork is so crucial. When it comes just from steering the ship, making tighter turns, which can involve raising and lowering different sails, knowing where one teammate is so that you can either give them covering fire or being up in the crow's nest spotting other ships. Teamwork is absolutely critical in this game, just like any other battle royale when you're playing with teammates. But because at any time another team can come on, on board you, pull the cork and kill you, it's very important to be communicating at all times. So make sure that your team is communicating. All right, tip number nine, cannons and different types of cannonballs. So cannons can be upgraded. You can find those upgrades lying around different islands. You can actually get up to five different types of cannonballs that all do different things. And each one is very, very critical and important to use. Now the first one is just the regular cannonball and all it does is shoot and do damage to opposing ships. Type number two is the heaven cannonball. And you guess it, it just does additional damage, but it does not shoot out as fast or go as far so you have make sure your trajectory is right on point. And since we're talking about trajectory, let's let's talk about riding in the ship and shooting at other ships, either with cannonballs, sniper rifle, musket, or any other gun. Lead does play a factor, so you have to make sure to aim out in front and let that bullet fall towards the target. Now, from my experience, when you're on the island or if you're fighting on the same ship with someone else, this doesn't play a, a factor. So you can literally just point and click. But when you're shooting from one ship to another, you do have to Watch out for lead. All right, the third type of cannonball is the trap shot. So the trap shot cannonball will actually, as soon as you shoot that and hit an enemy ship, it will drop their anchor immediately. Now that is huge. If you're able to do this against one of those junk ships that fly or sail really, really fast and you can put them to a halt, then you're gonna be able to go over there and start doing damage. But not only that, they've got to pull up their anchor so they won't be able to defend. Cannonball number four is the anti-cannonball. And what this does is actually locks up the opposing team's cannons and chains. And no, you do not have to hit the cannons on the opposing team just anywhere on the ship and it will lock up the nearest cannon. And last but not least, the most important type of ammo and that is the exploding barrel. So the exploding barrel is TNT and there's actually three different ways that you can use this. I did not know until recently just looking this up. Now obviously this thing can be shot out of cannons and of course the trajectory is really slow. So I would wait to really make sure that you can hit these shots because it shoots very slow and does not go very far at all. The second way that it can be used, you can actually shoot it into the water and let a ship pass over it. And once an opposing ship touches that crate, it will explode doing a massive amount of damage. And the last way to use this, now this has actually happened to me, but I didn't realize it was happening until I was just reading this. You can actually mount the exploding barrel onto the prow or the front of the ship. And if you ram into another ship, 
you guess it, it explodes and the other ship takes damage. Now, these heavy cannons and exploding barrels, they do do a lot of damage to the ship. So whenever you are repairing the ship, you may notice that some of the hulls take longer to build and repair than others. And those are from those heavy cannons and exploding barrels. All right, guys, last but not least, this is a really good tip and uh, something to watch out for whenever you're selling an open water towards late game. If you see seagulls flying around, that means that there's a crate in the water. And a lot of times these crate has, I would say mid to high level tier loot. So make sure to go after those, you'll see them flying and you might be lucky enough to gain a really good item that will help you and getting a victory. Guys, I really hope that you uh, try out this game and like it, but I really would like to see this game take off. It's still in early access. The game is really fun. Like I said, take it for what it's worth. It's a real lighthearted battle royale. It's the Kraken. It's fun, it's beautiful, it's atmospheric, and you can just have a good time playing it. Let me know down in the comments what you think, and guys, remember to like and subscribe. I'm Floopy Donkey. Thanks for watching. See you later, peace.